And now let's see how to set the machine up to do some basic aluminum welding. We're going to start by turning the machine on. Next, we're going to adjust the flow rate for the gas valve on the cylinder. We start that by fully opening the valve on the gas bottle. Be sure to turn it fully to the open position. Do not just crack it open as it will not allow enough flow. After we do that, using the gas purge button on the front of the machine, we can get some gas flow started and set the flow rate where we want it to be. For aluminum welding, you're going to have to have the flow rate set much higher than you're used to with steel welding. I'm setting this at 40 cubic feet per hour. Hit the gas purge button again to turn the flow off. We're set up here. The next thing we need to do is ensure that the switch on the bottom of the machine is set for the torch that we're going to be using. And next, we're going to want to ensure that we are in the proper program for the wire we have in the machine. So we press the AE key until the program light lights up and it's telling us what program we're in. Here we are 49 aluminum. This is the correct program for the 5554 1.2 wire that we're using. So we can press the AE key one more time and select either the metal thickness, wire speed, or amperage mode for the display. I prefer to start with the metal thickness mode as we are knowing what we're welding together for a thickness. I've got some two and a half millimeter coupons here. So now I know I can start by setting my thickness level with the left knob here at two and a half millimeters for a good starting point. So now that we have this set, we're basically ready to weld. Get our push-pull torch. Make sure our ground clamp is connected to our material. Put on the proper safety equipment. And then we're ready to weld. Just as we need more gas flow for aluminum welding, we're also going to need much more stick out than we're used to with steel welding. You need the gun back a minimum of probably one half to five eighths of an inch away from the material you're welding, which again is much further than most of us are used to with the steel MIG mag welding we've been doing in the past. We also need to understand for aluminum welding that we have to push every weld. We cannot use the pull technique. So we're going to push every weld and we're going to push uphill not downhill if we're doing a vertical weld. Let's talk about one more feature that the push-pull gun has. Notice the red toggle switch up high on the back side of the gun. This switch can be used to turn the wire speed or the metal thickness, whatever you want to call it, up or down from the gun without having to go back to the machine. Pushing it on the right side will toggle the heat hotter. Pushing it on the left side will toggle the heat colder. One thing you need to be aware of is while you're welding, you need to keep your hand in a position where it stays away from the switch. If you choke yourself way up on the gun like I'm holding it right now, pull the trigger with one of your middle fingers, you'll have a tendency for your glove to press on the switch and you'll be changing the wire speed or amperage of the weld as you are welding. We want to make sure we don't do that, so keep our hand down low, pull the trigger with our front finger, and keep our palm and glove area away from this switch as we're welding. So again, here it's time to start welding. We're going to make a short weld, see if our setting on the machine is correct for our welding technique and our travel speed that we're using. And if we're too hot, we turn this knob to the left to reduce the metal thickness, cools the weld down. If we're not hot enough, turn the knob to the right to increase the metal thickness setting and heat the weld up. Okay, so now let's see how we make a weld. All right, now let's look at the back side of our coupon and assess whether we have proper penetration and whether or not we need to get a little more heat or a little less heat by turning the machine up or down.
I'm really just about perfect for this weld. So the two and a half millimeter setting synergically to do a two and a half millimeter fillet weld for me is perfect. For somebody else, you may need a little less heat or a little more heat, depending on your travel speed and technique. Notice the knob at the beginning of the weld. Now, this is what we call the cold start. Now, aluminum is always going to do this as it takes a while to get the heat into the material as it is pulling it away from the weld as fast as you're putting it in. Now, this is where the hot start function on the machine can help us out as we're using a higher amperage weld for the first second or two of the weld to not, not eliminate this, but reduce it and get us out of this cold start faster. This is why I stayed in one spot and built this knob up before I started moving. I waited until the weld had enough heat to establish a puddle into the aluminum. Now let's do another weld, but this time let's turn the hot start feature on and see what that does to help the beginning of our weld out. If you remember to turn the hot start feature on, push and hold the AE key for three seconds, to get into the submenus. Use this knob to toggle through so you get to HSA for hot start. Turn the right knob to go from off to on. The other parameters that we can set in here, we're gonna leave alone and use the default settings in the machine for this. We're gonna punch the AE key one more time put us back into the screen that we were using before for our display and make another weld. With hot start on, you could hear the difference in the weld as the wire speed slowed down as it ramped out of hot start and down into the welding wire speed or amperage that we use for the rest of the weld. And it helped us get out of this cold start knob a little faster. If we were to increase the hot start percentage, it would do it even quicker. Um, but just using the default settings helps us quite a bit. Um, we still used our manual crater fill at the end but our hot start at the front helped us get out of the cold start faster and make a better well.